best export settings in DaVinci Resolve for short form content platforms like Instagram or TikTok. Hey, what's going on everyone? Hope you're doing all right. My name is Matt and this is Dwyer Creatives. Today we're gonna go over my export settings from DaVinci Resolve to platforms like Instagram or TikTok, specifically social media platforms that compress our footage. If you're like me, you like to shoot at a minimal 4K just so you have the ability to punch in a little bit or do what you need to do. And then of course, when you jump to these social media platforms, they do compress it. So this is what I've found for my best export settings so that you have minimal loss. Now it is 2 Minute Tuesday, so let's put 2 minutes on that clock and get this started. After you open up DaVinci Resolve, you're going to want to first go to your project settings. For me, I have mine set up for more YouTube format, so this is all in 4K. But for this, because it is going to be vertical and then also for the social media platforms, we're going to have to use different settings. So we're going to unclick this Use Project Settings, and we're going to go over here into Format. Now we're going to go into 1920 by 1080 and we're going to use this as vertical format. Well, something else to think about is that these platforms tend to like 30 frames per second. So I typically shoot at 24, but if I know that these platforms are going to want 30, I'll try to go ahead and shoot this in 30. After your project is done and you're ready to export, we're going to come over here to the deliver page and we're just going to go ahead and a custom export. Now you want to make sure that your format is in QuickTime and the codec is going to be H.264. This is going to be trying to set this up for like the most common ones that you would come across. Resolution, we're going to go to that 1080 by 1920. Make sure that you have this vertical option selected. Frame rate, we're going to stay at 30. Again, this is what the social media platforms prefer is this 30 frames per second. We're going to change the quality to automatic and then jump down here to the advanced settings. In the advanced settings, the only thing that we're going to change is the color space. We're going to go down here to P3 DCI, and then the gamma tag is going to be the sRGB. Now, the reason that we're changing a few of these settings here is what we're trying to do is go into the most widely used formatting for these options, and this will allow you to do that. Now, one thing that you can do to help your speed up the process next time is if you go up here to these three little buttons, as you see across the screen, this is how you're gonna save everything. I wanna save this as a new preset. Go here. We're gonna call this 1080 by 1920 vertical social media. I'm just gonna hit okay. Now that's gonna save that as one of the options for us. So if you see here, I have my YouTube and then I also have one for vertical social media and it will change those settings depending on which preset that I would like to use. There you go. Now you go ahead, export this and then import it into your preferred social media platform. If you have any questions or comments about this process, let me know down in the comment section below. If you have any questions about any other tutorials you'd like me to do, let me know that too. I'll go ahead and try to add those to my list. And I'm just going to wrap this up right here. So as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.